Hello and welcome back to WePC. Now, Avast Antivirus is a great package that has been keeping users computer virus free since its release back in 1995. That being said, every once in a while, users will have to disable Avast because it deems your favorite website or software installation unsafe and risky. And for that reason, we've decided to create a simple guide on how to disable Avast. The guide will be split into two sections, how to fully disable Avast and how to disable individual shields within Avast. So let's get straight into the guide. So for this first section, we're going to talk about how to fully disable Avast. However, it will potentially put your PC at risk of harmful files. Only do this if you feel it is absolutely necessary. So the first thing you need to do is locate the Avast tab in the taskbar. Once found, right click the icon and select the Avast Shield Control tab. Selecting this tab will open a secondary drop down menu. The drop down menu will give you a couple of different options which include disable for 10 minutes, one hour, or disable until computer is restarted, and also disable permanently. Simply choose one of the following options that best suits your current needs. Avast will then prompt you to confirm your actions and you have a 60 second window to confirm you want to disable Avast. If you do not select an option, Avast will automatically deny the action. Simply click OK to complete the task. If you would like to check to make sure Avast is disabled, simply open your Avast interface. If all went to plan, you should be greeted with a message that says all shields are disabled. Now let's get into how to disable individual shields. Now, not every issue requires a complete shutdown of your antivirus software, so in certain situations, you can get away with just simply disabling individual shields. So let's show you how to do that. Start by opening your Avast user interface. And once inside, select the protection tab located on the left hand side. From the options, find the core shields tab and select it. Inside this tab, you'll find all your shields and which ones are active. Each shield will have an on and off toggle, and if you have them all activated, each toggle will be set to on. To disable a certain shield, simply click the toggle to off. By doing so, Avast will ask you how long you would like to disable the shield for. Choose the relevant option and click OK. Once you have completed your task, you will want to reactivate your shield to make sure you have the maximum level of antivirus protection. Simply press the off toggle to switch it back on. And that's all there really is to it. Disabling your Avast antivirus really is a pretty simple process and we recommend that you only do this in the worst case scenario. By following this guide, you will be putting your PC at risk, however in certain scenarios it's the only thing that prevails. It's worth noting this guide will work for all versions of Avast, even including the free version. Please let us know if this guide was of any help to you and if it was, please give us a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload and we'll see you in the next one.